Hello everyone, welcome back to this week's Little Way Sunday School. Now, in today's Gospel, we hear the story of how Jesus heals a man with leprosy. Leprosy is a skin disease, and in Jesus' time, there was no cure for it, and it is very contagious. So if you had it, you have to live all on your own for the rest of your life. Now, Jesus loved and took pity on this man who had great faith in that Jesus could heal him. So now we're going to watch this story brought to life and take note of this man's great faith and of Jesus' love and compassion. It was very sad. Not to spoil this beautiful day or anything, huh? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> It's a leper. Stay back. Cover your mouth. Don't breathe his air. Don't come any closer. It's OK, John. It's OK. Rabbi, 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 you can't know this disease. You Please. Please. Please don't turn away from me. I won't. Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Only if you want to, I submit to you. My sister, she was a servant at the wedding. She told me what you can do. I know you can heal me if you are willing. I knew it. What can I, what can I ever do? No, no. Do not say anything to anyone. You don't seek your own honor? Please just do me this one thing. But what do I tell people? Go, show yourself to the priest. Let them inspect you and see that you are cleansed. Make the proper offering in the temple as Moses commanded. And go on your way. Where's an extra tunic? Just one of you, just one of you. That's enough. Definitely your color. Oh. <laughs> Not too shabby. <laughs> Padre's Corner. Our priest this week is Father Brendan Ward from the parish of the Irish Martyrs in Letterkinney. Father Brendan is originally from the parish of Inishkeel and enjoys reading and going to the gym. Thank you for joining us this week, Father Brendan. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. A leper came to Jesus and pleaded on his knees. If you want to, he said, you can cure me. Feeling sorry for him, Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him. Of course I want to, he said, be cured. 
and the leprosy left him at once and he was cured. Jesus immediately sent him away and sternly ordered him, Mind you say nothing to anyone, but go and show yourself to the priest and make the offering for your healing prescribed by Moses as evidence of your recovery. The man went away, but then started talking about it freely and telling the story everywhere, so that Jesus could no longer go openly into any town but had to stay outside in places where nobody lived. Even so, people from all around would come to him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the last few months, we have all become familiar with terms like social distancing, washing the hands, using sanitizer, and staying apart. These were these are nothing new in these terms. In Jesus' time, there was also a pandemic. There was leprosy. And leprosy was a very bad disease because it affected a person's skin. And the skin would develop scab or shiny spots. And anybody who got leprosy would have to stay away, stay apart. You would have to live on their own in camps, maybe outside the town, away from where people lived. And when they were going past, they would have to shout unclean, unclean, to make people aware and to stay socially distanced from people who didn't have the disease. But Jesus in today's gospel feels, felt sorry for the leper he met. Jesus didn't stay away, he came close and touched the person. He says, of course I want to, I want to heal you. And Jesus wants to heal us as well. He wants to heal those who are sick. It's important for us to be like Jesus, to, to have love and compassion for those who are sick, to pray for them and follow Jesus' example. And Jesus can heal the sick, but he wants us to pray to him. He wants us to ask him. In the same way as the leper said, you can cure me. The leper had faith that Jesus could cure him. So we also are called to have that faith. A faith of knowing that Jesus can cure us if we are sick. And can cure those who are sick in the hospital, at home. I'm sure all the boys and girls watching this video know somebody who is sick. So ask God to cure them. And if we ask with faith, then God will cure them and will bring them help. May Almighty God bless you all now, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mission time. At the moment, there's many people that are sick or maybe isolated. So your mission time this week is to think about someone you know that might be unwell and to pray that God is with them, that he's comforting them and that he will heal them in this time. So thanks everybody for watching and if you'd like to do the worksheet, you'll find it in the description box below. So we'll see you all again next week. God bless. Can't touch this.